Now that isn't a good sign that some of my hair just came out. That is a really bad sign. I'm gonna wash this out. Hello everybody. So it is that time again. My roots need doing. My hair has nearly all faded from the beautiful purple roots into pink and it's pretty much a blondy peach now. What I did yesterday was I bought myself two boxes of Bleach London Total Bleach because you know I love this brand. I also have some different colors to mix together. I've got a violet. I've got the colorista purple that I used last time got two of those and then I've got like two different shades of pink so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna go too extravagant and use different colors like I used last time in different sections I'm simply going to make a pinky purple shade I'll probably add some conditioner as well but first I'm gonna just go and dye my roots I'm probably not gonna do that on camera because last time I tried to do that it went very wrong I don't have Rob to help me this time also I'm like really ill so I'm sorry if I sound like I've got something stuck up my nose because I literally can't breathe out of my nose I'm currently having to breathe that in my mouth, which is disgusting. The bleach is on. I've been wise and I've actually covered my piercing this time. I feel so sorry for the ends of my hair right now because I've slightly bled into um, where I've previously bleached and it feels so dry where it's got like little straggly bits. So I might do a conditioning mask before I put the color on, but the color itself is very conditioning. So I'm just gonna play it by ear and see how my hair feels once I've washed it. And the color will probably grab a little bit better if my hair is slightly dry. Um, just because it'll be more porous and more open to taking on colour. So, I'm going to wash this off in about 15 minutes because it took me about an hour to apply it. So I feel really bad for the bottom of my hair, which is literally white right now. I just realised people outside of my window can see me. Oh, there's hair coming out. That's a bad sign. Maybe I should wash it off. Slightly concerned for the safety of my hair. Um, I might start washing it out. I'm putting purple over it anyway. So, shit, I'm really actually nervous now. And that's my lunch ready. Now that isn't a good sign that some of my hair just came out. That is a really bad sign. I'm gonna wash this out. We are back. As you can see, it's lifted a little bit of where my previous dye was and my roots are more yellow toned because I've not used a toner on my hair this time. This patch of my head is a little bit warm so I'm gonna just wash that out in a second because I think I've left a little bit of bleach on there. I've got a conditioning mask on it at the moment. I'm gonna leave that on there whilst I mix my dye. I've currently got a clump of hair in my hand because I think I overlapped a little too much with the dye and slightly damaged my hair. Um, but thankfully I've got really, really thick hair so I've got a lot of hair to play with. Um, I'm gonna leave this mask on for about 20 minutes and I'm just gonna go and mix my dye. So I may have spoken too soon. I washed my hair out and a huge clump of my hair, like not from one section, I've not got a bald patch, but like a load of my hair came out as I brushed it. So I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm panicking that my hair is gonna be really thin now when I always moan about having such thick hair and I'm like, why didn't I appreciate it? Why is this my life? What am I doing? So to continue this fiasco, um, I am now going to mix my colour and hope that my hair doesn't fall out. Pray for me. I feel like doing this shade is a good idea because then it won't fade as quick and it's kind of got a pink hue to it. Let me take you to the window. You might be able to see how it's a little bit pinker there than blue. Um, so this is exactly, oh there you go, you can see it. Oh it looks blue in this lighting, never mind. Just pretend it looks pink. Okay, so we're supposed to apply this to towel dried hair. So I'm gonna give my hair a very gentle rub. We don't want any more hair to fall out. My hair looks so thin. Like, I don't know if you can tell on here, but to me knowing how like thick my hair was, this, my hair's still coming out. Okay, if I have any hair left by the end of this, it's gonna be a miracle. I'm sectioning it in half as I always do. Again, I might add a drop more fuchsia, drop more conditioner, and hope for the best. I'm also gonna add the tiniest drop of this one. Oh, she is dark. Oh, I don't know if I should've done that. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, the angle may have changed because Rob just called me. Here is our mixture. So you can tell it's like pinky. I'm gonna just like speed up this section and watch some YouTube to distract myself whilst I do it. I'm just taking it in small sections, going through it, and then I'll work through the top, as you'll see, just like I do in all my other videos. Okay, see you when it's on. Okay. 
Okay, so my hair is on top of my head. I have put some of that other colour on the ends, the Bleach London one. Um, so we're going to see how that turns out. I'm going to take you to the window. I think I added a little bit too much conditioner because it's gone very white in places. But I'm hoping that it doesn't really affect the colour. I feel like the roots are still going to be very purple and the ends might still be pink. Um, just different tones of it than last time. I'm not really sure how this is actually going to turn out. It might look awful. It might not even grab to my hair. But we're going to find out in about 20 minutes so i will catch you when my hair is dry and we are back i've just filmed my makeup video that's going to go up next week which also has a very very juicy story time that i have been dying to talk about for ages um i wasn't sure how i felt about it at first it definitely has done what i thought it's got more purple there and more pink on the ends because that was the tone of my hair underneath it anyway it's a little bit more faded and patchy in places but you know what we're gonna live with that it's kind of got some red tones and more blue tones in places but I think it looks really fun, really cool, really nice, especially with a half up, half down look. Um, I kind of don't want to take it down from this because I'm really enjoying the half up, half down, and I only just chucked it back to put my makeup on, but I'm going to keep it like this, I think. Um, I now have to pack and leave to go to my friends because we are going to a gig tonight and we are keeping me busy for the weekend while Rob is away so I don't get really bored. So I hope you enjoyed this guys. If you like this hair colour let me know. If it's not your favourite let me know what your favourite colour is that I've done so far. If you have any wild hair stories as well please let me know because I always love hearing about them. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye! Oh, my lipstick's really messed up there. Chunky.